Oh, big weekend of hockey in Hamilton because NHLers are back on the ice at First Ontario. And oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yes, the NHL alumni tour rolls into the city Sunday besides letting a few hacks play with them. They are doing it for two important causes, uh, help a child smile yes. and uh, the um, law enforcement torch run for Special Olympics. We'll talk more about that. We'll talk, let's talk to our next guest because you know, he knows a thing or two about playing in the hammer because he's from here. Great to have NHL alum Rick Natchez on the show. Thanks, Tim. Hey, pal. Pleasure. Good. good. I can to attest the traffic is good out there because <laughs> I drove here, so you're doing a good job. So I just want to let you know it's a really good, great station. I haven't been to CH in years, yeah, and this man. is the first time I've been out this way. So. Listen. You guys are doing a good job. Yeah, well, here. welcome. Are you still Thanks. in the city? Yeah, we are. We've yeah. uh, downsized and moved to Stony Creek, so okay. we're in Tony Creek or Stony <laughs> Creek, depends on who, who you're talking to, right? So, but you know, we're a Hamilton area group. My mom was here for years, and uh, we came back after I retired to be around her and my kids to know their grandmother. Fortunately, she's been gone about 20 years now. My mother-in-law is still kicking at right. 80 years old, living on her own, driving everything. So we're staying with her. She's a nice North Ender, so you know, okay, we're, yeah. we are Hamilton all the way. Yeah. Well, what, what was it like? for you let's go back a little bit what was it like for you growing up and playing hockey in the city well you know it was back in the time not like weather we have today where you can actually have a rink outside so Beach yeah. Park was huge I grew up in that area Afton Avenue area by St. Peter's Infirmary played a lot of road hockey in their parking lot played a lot on the street played a lot of ice hockey you know chasing around guys you didn't even know if you were playing against you know or they were on your team back in the day so you know the hockey atmosphere in Hamilton being a young guy the Leafs against the Habs you know we really only got to see the Leafs on Wednesday Wednesdays and Saturdays you didn't yeah. see other teams like you do today so it was a great rivalry t between my friends because a lot of French in Hamilton a yeah. lot of people don't I don't know if they know that but anyways growing up in Hamilton having a sports huge sports fan as a mother because I grew up mostly with a single mother yeah. uh, uh, and um, you know the experience was awesome is it cool just, I don't know, because there's young kids that maybe yeah. don't know you, don't yeah. know don't, oh. don't know that you play. You played 536 yeah. games yeah. in the league, five yeah. different teams, but yeah. you're still an NHLer. You're always being an NHLer, well, well, so how it, cool is that? Well, the funny thing is, Tim, it used to be Mr. Natchez, I thought you were good, then it was Mr. <laughs> Natchez, my dad thought you were good, now it's Mr. Natchez, my grandfather thought you were good. So, you know, I get all that, you know what I mean? And, and it's going, and it's like, I'm that old guy now. I, uh, you know, I do some work with Leaf alumni, a lot of work, actually, and some flames, and uh, you go into the dressing room, and meet some of the Leaf players and stuff like that and they look sort of look at who's that old guy right and I sort of get it because I see it in their face when I was there you know at 20 years old 22 I'm like who is that old guy so you know I was fortunate enough to play for some great organizations you know played 700 uh, pro games in the American yeah. League played with some great players had some great leadership Larry Robinson Guy Lafleur God rest him Bob Ganey was my captain Brian Sutter and Munch Lanny McDonald Dougie Gilmore is a good friend so you know I can't compare playing about too much but yeah. I am that old guy now. Yeah well we're running out of time because yeah. th this whole event is yes. for such a great cause because yes. it benefits hockey and each community that you go to it be benefits the specific community yeah, and, and there's two of the them kids. here. Yeah and yeah. it's kids right in McMaster Children's Hospital we know that you know make a child smile is you know takes them to Wonderland, Disney on Ice, those type of things it also helps about 1500 families now with parking, uh, meal vouchers, all that kind of stuff that people you know don't really realize when yeah. you're getting treatment for cancer especially with children the family affects the family and how it affects a lot more than just the family so those type of charities the torch run yeah. helps disability uh, mentally disability uh, children excuse me disabled yeah. children have an opportunity to compete and have a sport year-round so these two charities are huge in my books and ex NHL well books. It's, it's Sunday afternoon I'm gonna be yeah. on the ice with you yeah like, I'm a defenseman but last well, time I played back in 2020 yeah. they're like you're not playing defense you're gonna be doing the floor check well, right still need guys they need guys blocking shots, so that's what I'll be doing. And my wife will look at me like, why are you doing that? Because I'm playing with guys like Tim. All right. Anyways, yeah. there you Benefit go. Hockey. Yes. Com. Get your tickets. It's at the First Thank Ontario you. Center. First, uh, yeah, puck drop just after two. Tons of fun. Thank Tons you. of fun chatting with Rick. And there's a, there's a good uh, good group of NHL yeah, alumni. They're going to yeah. be there Sunday Brad afternoon. Brad Benefit. Yeah. Rick Vive. Lots of good guys. Lots of good guys. So we'll Shane see you down Corson. there. We'll see we'll see you down there. So Thank take, you. It, take it easy on me, Rick. And, uh, I and, will. And great, great seeing you. Thank you. <laughs> Keep your stick on the ice, I guess. As long as I'm plus, I'm good. Who's that That's guy? That's my mom and my wife. Uh, 40 years coming up. My oh, sisters. Wow. Look at those young guys. Bring that hair back, can well, you? Well, no. <laughs> We'd have to hire somebody to weave one. <laughs>